Hey YouTubers, um, this is going to be about Gobel's theorem. Before we jump into Penrose and Hammer's um, LRC model, it's important to get a little bit of background of what the main quantum objections are, and also what the what the main opposition to AI is. And I think this is probably one of the strongest uh, points against artificial intelligence, and um, it's. It is quite a striking point, but I didn't think it's relevant to the theory of mind. Right. So what is Gordel's theorem? This is something I, I I knew what it was, but I didn't really know how it works. I'm hopefully going to address that in a bit of detail because I found a, a, a bunch of very helpful links today. That really get let me get to grips with it. So Gordel's theorem states that any sufficiently powerful system. Uh, logical numeric system cannot be both complete and consistent. Now, logically, uh, logical numeric system we could take to be a Turing machine, although theoretically the Turing machine is infinite. Only our constrictions of Turing machines have finite resources, so Gold's theorem does apply. Now, consistency is a quality that we want the system to have. It says that for there, are, there exists no statement within our logical system which can be proven both true and false, i.e. it's consistent. Um, and completeness says that everything our system knows how to address has to be proven. Now we can't have consistency and completeness in any sufficiently powerful logical system. That means that there are some things that are true but can never be proven. Okay, so let me give you um, a, a little bit more detailed analysis of what, what this means. Um, the statement, this statement cannot be proven true, um, is what we call Goldol's fork. Now, Goldol's fork, let's, let's think of a, a system L. Right? We could say, for example, that um, Goldol's, um, in system L, Goldol's fork cannot be proven within system L. Now, if we were able to prove this, the theory would actually be inconsistent um, because any anything with enough any system that can make up its mind about its consistency is inherently inconsistent I know that sounds like a paradox but um, please check out some of the links I'm sure it goes into a, a better explanation than I have but think of it in similar terms to the um, to the liar's paradox, that is the sentence, everything I speak is a lie. Okay, now if everything I speak is a lie, then the sentence everything I speak is a lie is actually true, which means everything I speak isn't a lie. Now if the sentence everything I speak is a lie is false, then I have just lied. So, therefore that statement well, it, it's a complete paradox, whatever way you look at it. Um, and this parallels with Goldor's theorem. Now, what the quantum physicists want to say is that there are certain things, not just Goldor's theorem, but the halting problem, which um, Turing acknowledged, and there, there are a few others out there, but these are the two I'm most familiar with. Um, there are certain things that mathematicians can spot that are uncomputable, they, they basically say that the, uh, the human brain can do something which is beyond computation. And there are also many objections to this. Um, Ray Kur Kurzweil, yeah, Ray, Ray Kurzweil, or something like that, he says that um, humans can only estimate um, 
non-computable algorithms, and so can machines. So he does not find this objection objectionable, and to be honest, neither do I. I found a, a few links. One is a very matty link that sort of um, refutes Goldoll's theorem as a restriction on AI, but. The, there are also many other things like Penrose says therefore a non-computable system is quantum mechanics therefore quantum uh, mechanics are at play in human consciousness and therefore responsible for human consciousness now I find a few problems with this I don't know specific details if someone could um, enlighten me on this but I would think that um, quantum theory as a formal system cannot um, cannot defy Goldoll's theorem either that is it can't be both complete and consistent so I, I don't think that um, putting a, a quantum system there is an objection either even if it is an objection we are at the cusp of getting quantum computers so I don't think we need quantum computers but if so, if quantum computers are needed, then we are able to carry out these quantum functions and thereby negate this difficulty. Um, I hope I've explained the objections sufficiently well. Um, my objections, of course, being that humans can't do anything that's beyond computation and we can only estimate it and also even if you um oh secondly quantum theory might not be might not be able to defy goldor's theorem this one i'm a little bit unsure about um so any comments on this would help and thirdly even if all this is true um quantum computers are still carrying out particular functions which would negate this um, objection to functionalism if we were able to build a quantum computer of sufficient complexity. Okay, uh, next time I think I'm going to talk about non-locality, Bell's inequality, and the interconnectedness and relativity of everything. So, stay tuned. Peace.